There was a question on the Adobe eLearning.adobe.com forums. And the question was, is there a way to change the access point of pivot on a rotation effect added to a shape in Captivate? I think I've done this before, but I can't remember. I'm trying to animate a dishwasher door opening from the side view. So here's the problem that this particular user is facing here. If I use the, the rotate to effect, and I can certainly set it to, let's say, 90 degrees and have it occur, let's say, over a two second duration. Let's extend the appearance of these objects and we'll just put it, you know, at the two second mark here. So if we play this back, you know, yeah, sure it works, but that's obviously not how dishwasher doors work here. So the solution is that you can export this particular effect. So you can see here, there's a little floppy disk icon. For those that don't know what floppy disks are, this is your save icon. And I can click on that and I can just save this to my desktop here. I'm going to call it 90 degree rotate uh, and just right over top of one that I did earlier here. Now, if I go ahead and edit this particular item, it will open up in Windows, it'll open up in WordPad, um, but you know, any kind of text editing tool will allow you to do this. Now, here's what I'm looking for in this particular effect. Every effect is gonna be different. So rotation, we're obviously dealing with transformation point here. Other effects, you can try editing those and see what results you get. So it's obviously picking a point that's uh, approximately halfway through the uh, the shape itself here. So the X coordinate is 0.5 for all intents purposes. And the Y coordinates are 0.5 here. Now, if you start to think about this particular object here, where do I want to rotate it from? Actually, the bottom left hand corner. So from an X coordinate, that might be 0.1 or something along those lines there. From the Y coordinate, it's gonna be pretty much 99 or you know 100%, but let's go with 99. I'm just gonna put in here 999, something like that. And we can close this now, save our XML file, and we'll get rid of the effect here. Let's delete the effect. And you can actually import in a custom effect that you've edited just as I've done here by using this folder icon. So we'll go and find that XML file that I've edited and we'll open that. And now let's play it back and see what result we get. Perfect. So exactly what we had in mind is the door opening on the side view of a dishwasher. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.